Hello. It says I am live, so we'll see. Um, always technical difficulties whenever I move my computers, and I've moved to an upstairs office now and made it into my stamp room. So this is the first time actually going live in a while. Um, so I want to just make sure that everything is up and running, that you can hear me. I'm starting just a couple minutes early before 8. Tonight it is One Sheet Wonder Night and I have some awesome Christmas cards to show you. So stay tuned because I have a special announcement tonight as well. I'm going to be giving away a couple prizes. So make sure that in the chat, if you want to be entered into the drawing, we're going to draw tonight. Bill's here. He's going to be drawn a couple times. We're going to do it. I can only ship in the United States. So if you're from another area, I'm sorry about that, but I'm only allowed to ship in the United States. And if you want to be entered into the drawing, make sure in the chat section that you put your first name, last initial of your last name, and the city and state that you're from. And then when he draws, I will announce that person, and then you're going to have to email me with your snail mail address so that I can mail your gifts out. So hello, Marsha, Kathy, Renee. Good evening to you as well. This time change, I know it's done me in because normally this would have been 9 o'clock for me instead of 8 o'clock, but now with the time change, it still feels like nine o'clock <laughs> from Toronto, Maryland, Kalamazoo, not very far from me actually. So I'm sorry, Di it's Diana, I believe from Toronto. Um, I appreciate, so appreciate you watching tonight, but I cannot put you in the drawings because I can only mail within the United States. Southwest Virginia, Texas, Australia. Wow, welcome, welcome. So if you have tuned into my YouTube channel or if you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe, like, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you know when I go live every Thursday night here at the Stamp Camp. It is One Sheet Wonder Night. I love doing one sheet wonders because I can create a pile of cards in no time. Very quick and easy is my specialty. Tonight we are going to be doing 12 fun fold Christmas cards and then two regular type cards. So stay tuned because we're going to do two drawings tonight for prizes. The cards, the layout for the 12 are identical. The only difference is the way that I do the sentiment, the die cuts, things like that. Just kind of like last week, Thursday night, um, it was the same layout, just the way I did the sentiment piece was different on each one. So same with tonight. The layouts are the same. The sentiment pieces are going to be different, and we're going to create two of each card. So six different layout, not layouts, but sentiment pieces, two of each for a total of 12 cards. Why, thank you. I love One Sheet Wonders as well. As you can tell, if you've looked at my YouTube channel, you know that I like my One Sheet Wonders because that's what I do every Thursday night. So let's see. We are at 8.02. I think it is time to get started. Welcome, welcome. This is the Stamp Camp, and I'm Glenda Calkins, and we are going to be making a gorgeous, well, 14 gorgeous Christmas cards tonight using the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. Let me change the camera so you can see this gorgeous stuff. All right, so this is the paper. It is the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. It is part of my Stamp Camp at Home Card Club kit for this month. If you don't know what my Stamp Camp Card Club kit is all about, you can visit my blog under the video It'll say show more. There's a direct link to my blog post that talks about this month's club kit. I'll give you a sneak peek of the four cards. Club members create eight cards, four different designs. They create two of each design. In this month, it is all fun folds. So it is this one right here. It's a tip and open. 
so just a little bit different. This one is open here and then the flap and it opens like that so it's like a double open. This one here opens like this and then like that. So another fun fold and then you have this gorgeous Z fold type card but it's going vertical versus horizontally. So those are the four and they make two of each so eight cards that this month's club will be making. In the club kit they get a 6 by 12 of the whole so I take a whole pack, cut it in half, they get a 6 by 12 of the Joy of Christmas paper. They get a full pack of the Festive Pearls, and they're getting 5 yards, approximately, of the Black and Vanilla Large Check Ribbon. And then the card kit, obviously. They get the video tutorial where I do each card step by step, as well as written PDF file. And then it is optional. They do not need the Christmas Classics bundle, but if they want their sentiments to be identical to mine or they want to make the bonus projects that I show every Thursday night, the One Sheet Wonders, they get the download for that, the measurements, all that good stuff. So if they want to copy those, they're going to want to purchase the bundle, whereas tonight I'm using both bundles in the suite. I'm using the Joy of Noel bundle and the Christmas Classics bundle. And I also brought in the Nested Essentials dies. So those are all the things we're going to be using tonight. And I might bring in a couple other stamp sets. Just we'll see how that goes. But this is the print that I'm using tonight right here. Beautiful print. Let me bring in my trimmer. move my glasses here I'm gonna need them all right so I'm gonna take this print and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter five and a quarter And then I have this little strip here. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut that at five and a quarter. And the bottom piece at five and a quarter. And this piece I'm not really going to do anything with. I think I can handle throwing that little square away without feeling guilty. <laughs> All right. Those are our last two cards. They're going to be those little strips. Now I'm going to take these two strips that are five and a quarter by 12 and I'm going to cut them down into two inch by five and a quarter strips. So I'm going to do both pieces at the same time. If you want to cut each one individually that's totally up to you but this is just quicker. I try to make sure that they Stay even, stay together. So again, for the giveaways tonight, you need to, in the comments, put your first name, last initial, city and state that you are from. I'm going to cut this last one because usually you end up with just a little piece of that left because it's actually just a little bit bigger than a 12 by 12. So now I have all these strips and I don't really care what order they're in. So my card base, the different colors I'm using tonight are the Shaded Spruce and Real Red. I got those colors from the paper pack. So I am going to, uh, this is a five and a half by eight and a half, so you're going to get two cards out of one eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I'm going to cut this down to six and a half. It looks like I might be freezing, Bill. Can you uh, keep an eye on the camera mm -hmm. there and see what? So far, so good. Okay. And now I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. All right. So that might be the all I need the trimmer for. We will see. Because I've done quite a bit of the prep work. 
I like to do as much prep work as possible so that you guys don't have to uh, sit and wait around forever. So again, I said I was going to use those nested, what are they, stitched? Nested Essentials dies. This is the largest one of this shape, and then this is the next size down. So I got the white and then the shaded spruce. So what I'm going to do, oh, I lied. I need my trimmer. I'm going to put this in the trimmer, and I'm going to put my end at three-fourths of an inch. And I'm lining this up with the line on my trimmer so I know it's going to be straight. And I'm going to score that just like that. So I'm going to fold that on that score line. Now this first one, I'm going to do it twice so that you can see it. And then after that, I pretty much got them prepped. Because like I said, the first 12 cards, the layouts are identical. The only difference is the sentiment pieces. All right, so three-fourths of an inch scored that. So the first one, I'm doing two for you guys. Got a question. Yes. When you score a piece of paper, does it matter which way you fold it? <laughs> We're getting back. Um, they say when you fold it, and I've already went ahead and folded that. I think they're all folded. You, when it's creased, you flip it over. So you go on the part that's humped up, and then you fold it. I'd go either way, but I've heard that that's the way it's supposed to be done. So I guess if it doesn't fold good one way for you, just try it the other way. So now I'm just attaching the next size down of this die right here. Now, Halloween time. <laughs> I said these dies look like coffins. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> But we're, we're going to do Christmas now, so we're not thinking of caskets anymore. <laughs> okay, so those are glued down. The next thing I did was I took the Joy of Noel. There's a die that fits this stamp right here. I just wanted it in red, and I put the adhesive sheet on the back, and then I die cut that out. So we're going to stick noel down this front part and i promise you that the night after these two i've got one almost completed so you won't have to worry about watching everything but i thought with the first one since it's a little bit intricate i would do them pretty much from scratch all right, so I took my sticky off. I think this is the best way to do any kind of words or intricate dies is to put that adhesive sheet on the back first. I love my liquid glue, but I tend to get my fingers all glued up and sticky. So this is works great. I should have... Oops, I don't know why that one's not sticking for me. I should have Bill uh, do one, and you guys can watch him do one. <laughs> All right, let's hope that sticks. If not, I'll just grab my liquid glue and stick it down. Okay. And you're probably wondering, okay, why did I go, well, it looks like I might have to move this down a tad because I should have cut that off first and that would have helped me line up better. So I'm going to just trim off that excess of like right at the top there of that shaded spruce. Now I can put my pen back. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to cut that down first. So flip the flap over and cut that off. And 
and I use the kind of the stitched line at the bottom to kind of help line up my L. Maybe that's why I've only got partial adhesive back on there. Oops, just about put that in the wrong spot. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now our O. Then the N. There we go. All right, so our strips. The card is going to open like this, believe it or not. So we're going to take our strips that we cut and we're going to put them across the bottom on the front like so. That I can just use my regular adhesive. Put that across just like that. The same on this one. All right, now we're going to put a white on the inside, and this, we're going to take this out, we're going to flip that down, and we're going to put that kind of to the side like that. Flip it over, it's tight. I'm going to take my liquid glue. You could use tear tape, you can use the stamp and seal plus. I just use the liquid glue. I'm gonna hold that there for just a second. And then we're gonna glue this to the inside. I put quite a bit on that flap there because that is gonna be raised. Bring it to the inside and line that up like so the liquid glue gives me a little bit leeway to kind of move it around so this is how it's going to open it's a double flap let me do this one and then i'll give you some suggestions okay so we're going to put this on the front flip it over Again, these are really easy. I would say the prep work, the die cutting of all the shapes and letters and stuff, that's what takes the longest. But once you have that, your one sheet wonder and the cards come together pretty quick because they're all the same. So by me showing you different ways of doing the Sentiment pieces, you can decide which way you like best and go from there and create them all the same if you like or all different. All right, so then I took the leaf or the holly leaf, I guess. I stamped it using the shaded spruce on shaded spruce paper and then used the die cuts to die cut them out. So I'm going to take those. And I think I'm going to just kind of put them together up in the corner like that. So I'm just going to stick them down. You could pop them up if you like, but I'm going to just stick them down. Kind of like that. And then I have some red berries that I've put adhesive back on the back side of the red and then die cut it out. So they're going to go across like so. like let's get that up there let's 
just like that. Let's do both of them and then I will finish them off. All right, so one going there, one going there, and then the berries. Okay, then I use the Simply Elegant Trim and I tied some, the trim comes in gold and in silver and I'm using the gold. Like that. And then I have those festive pearls. And we'll just put some of those on here, like so. Bring out that extra gold. All right. And then, if you open it up, it's a double flap. You can you have room to write here, but if you want to stamp a sentiment and write. You could stamp an inside sentiment, and you can also add a piece down here and stamp an inside sentiment if you really want a lot. And the really good sentiments for inside, um, the brightest glow, and then the joy to you. Those are some awesome Christmas sentiments that you could put on the inside. So adding a piece at the bottom is totally optional, up to you if you want to do that or not. But if you feel like you're going to need more room to write, you can add that piece along the bottom. I haven't decided yet if I want mine to have that or not. And then for the envelope, all I did was took that same stamp that I used for those and stamped them on the corner of my envelope just to coordinate those up. So those are the first two. So then I took the next this time I'm going with real red. So it is done the same as I just did the other one. Whoops, my berries. Except for this time I stamped right on my inside piece with the shaded spruce. And now I'm just going to take my stamp and blends and color those in. So I'm giving you some options. You can use the dies to decorate. You can use your stamps and ink and blends to decorate your inside. And then for this one, you can see that I stamped that Noel in real red on white and then use the die cut to die cut them out. I'm not going to get too fancy with that. I've already went ahead and attached it to the white. I just need to trim off that red. So cut that off. Just line that up. Trim that off. That's going to go over here just like that. And there really is no right or wrong width of how far in you go. That's totally up to you. Looks like I must have stamped the back side and not liked it, so flipped it over. That's okay. That's why there's two sides to every piece. See how my thing shuts down? All right. Okay, I think so far everything's going all right. Okay. So now we're going to glue that to the inside. Okay, here is... This is what I mean by humped up. I don't know if you can see it, but they say to fold on the, the raised side. And then we got to put one of our pieces on the front. Okay. 
and you can decide if you like red better or if you like if you're green and you like the shaded spruce but at the end I'll put all the ones that I did up so you can see them all and if you want to see them up close tomorrow they will be on my blog so tomorrow under the video I will put the link to the direct blog post but my blog is www.thestampcamp.com so you can check that out my blog goes live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time all right so now we're gonna put the Noel at the top like so try to keep my letters lined up and straight kind of like the stamped image of these I like that little kind of like border they got going through there now you'll see I got my little what do you call these berries so we'll put one there And the two will go down. I want to turn that around. Like that. And then I'm going to come in again with the gold bow, like so. And then where's my the gold again? One two, three. All right, this one is all finished. I just had to add my paper to it. I hadn't had my paper cut ahead of time so that you could see how it was cut. Line that up. So that's the second pair. Save these for another so what do you think? What do you like better? The shaded spruce or the real red? Stamped, stamped, die cut, die cut. These are die cut too, but stamped first. I think they're gorgeous. You'll have to check out my blog tomorrow and see it in person. Now this time, the envelope, I stamped it and I colored it in with the blends. Now remember, blends will bleed through. So you can kind of see it a little bit on the back, but it's pretty good. All right, so my next set, let's see here. We're going to do red again. I'm going to fold on that score line. Grab me a piece. We're going to attach that to the front. Fold that over, cut that piece off. Put our Noel on there. No comments? Both are great. <laughs> I really like both of them. I don't have the Noel die, but I do have the set of alphabet dies. Mm, yeah, that will work. That would work. And you just do all die cuts. How do you know those letters are all going to fit inside that casket? Well, yeah. If you don't have these specifically, I don't... Why do you call it a casket? 
<laughs> I don't think it looks like a casket anymore. But I did at Halloween time. <laughs> Like, can you use that one for both for Halloween and probably? I yeah, I don't see why not. You need a skeleton. I had what did I put on mine? I put a skeleton. You're right. I love that gold. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So this time, what I did in the corner was I just stamped "Peace on Earth" with the real red ink. Short, sweet, quick, right? Okay, that time I didn't use my liquid glue. Put this on the inside. Why do you use glue now instead of tape? You used to use tape. I use both. Glue, because this flap, I think glue holds it better than the tape. The tape is good too. You can use tear tape. Some intricate things I like to use the liquid glue. All right, where am I at? So here's my second piece, which I have it already done. I just need to put on my paper. And then I have this little white, which if you want, you can put that at the bottom on the inside, flip that. So this one, I just need to add those gold pearls. And I added it around the sentiment piece. And then on the Noel as well. Once you've had them piled up for a while, they will flatten out a little bit more, but you can always use your bone folder and give it a better, a deeper crease. Just like that. All right. So now, if you're familiar with this suite of products from the mini catalog, I showed you the two stamp sets that are in the suite, the 12 by 12 paper that we're using, but there's also a package of specialty it's the joyful specialty designer series paper and in that pack it all has a gold foiling in it so i used one of the prints from that pack and you can see this is like a plaid with the it's the shaded spruce with some gold foiling through that so that is what i did for these and this time I did red, uh, the green, the shaded spruce with the white on top. And now we're going to add the Noel to that. Every time I would make one, I would like, oh, I like that one. And then I would make the next one, and I'm like, oh, I like that one. So I started out kind of basic, and then we're, we're I don't know if you can notice, but I'm eventually up in the ante kind of on each one card. Just maybe adding a little something or I don't know. Once you start making them it's like ooh how about this? How about this? And you start getting out of control and I guess that's how my one sheet wonders start out. I love this plaid with that gold Okay, see what I mean? Yeah, the mouse needs to move. Yeah, the mouse needs to move. All right, so there's that. We're going to put a piece on the front of our one sheet wonder. Get that in place. Got my white here. We're going to put this over the top. 
you got the drill you know the drill got it down put that down take my liquid glue go over the top open this up Make sure that looks straight. All right, so then part of the dies are these right here. I don't know what you call these. But I use the gold foil and I again adhesive on the back. Saves trying to liquid glue them. I'm going to put one going like this. Take this off. And we'll put one going like that. Come in with our gold bow, of course, like so. This time, I'm going to use the little red berries, well, I berries, but pearls, around those. Let's see, I'll put one there. And then I'll use the gold around the Noel, like so, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I got to finish my other one off with some of the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper, like that. Pretty. All right, we are, that's one, two, three, four. We're coming into five. All right, so for this one, I have my real red. I'm gonna come in with my paper. And I'm gonna fold it the other way just because it kind of left a ridge from my cutting blade which I just changed because I noticed it was leaving fuzzies. So this time what I did was I stamped that sprig and what's that? That's from the Noel, Joy of Noel. It looks kind of small, but this is the actual size of it. So a little bigger than what you see on the thing. And I'm gonna use my blends to color this. Now I have the light shaded spruce, the dark shaded spruce, and then the real red. So I'm just going to quickly, as quick as I can, color these in. Now some people really like to do a lot of shading and really go to town. I am more of a quick and easy stamper, so I just like color it straight on and I don't really come in with the darker, lighter. I do sometimes if I really, you know, take the time. But for this little pieces to come in with a couple different colors, it's really, I don't know. I don't think it, it probably would look wonderful, but <laughs> I think it looks good enough. I think it's pretty even if I don't do a lot of different colors and blending and all right there's always one I forget right there he's a little rascal and I try not to get my head in the camera hopefully I'm not getting the top of my head All right, does that, that looks like all day. So it didn't take too long. These berries go quick. But I just wanted you to see the options. Different from Noel, right? All right, pretty, huh? All right, now we're going to attach that 
to the red coffin, as Bill would say. Like so. Flip that down. We're going to cut off this piece. Then I think after I do this one, we'll do one of the drawings and then stay to the end and then we'll do our second drawing at the end. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you why I am so pumped and why I'm giving stuff away tonight. Oh man, last Thursday after I went live, my video did really well and I hit over 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Yes! I have been for, gosh, what, two years waiting, waiting, waiting to hit that. And I finally hit it. I was so excited. To me, 10000 was jackpot. So that's why I am live tonight. And we're going to give away a couple prizes because I'm so excited. Too bad you don't know who that 10,000th person was. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, you huh? bet I would. We'll see if it's another two years before I hit 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can only hope. How many videos do you have total now? Um, I have no idea. Do not have a clue. Let's see. I'm sure it shows on my channel, but I don't really look at that much. Okay, so here's my gold isn't that I mean that just makes it right there did you see how plain it was before I added that so pretty you know what I think I'm gonna run out of gold before I'm done tonight I don't know we'll see I just like that gold accent you could come in with the silver or I think these are pool party that would go too because of the different greens but I don't know I'm just kind of drawn to the gold so there it is in real red. So I thought, well, okay, I'm going to switch it up. They're the same, but just one's in red and one's in the shaded spruce. So Bill, get ready. Draw for your first drawing. Yep, I took all the names of people's names that I see out here. Of course, you got to be from the United States, but you can't ship outside the United States. Correct. And we'll draw a color of a bucket. All right. So there's this card is the same, but I thought, well, I'll do it once in red and once in green so you can see which you like better. Some people like the green better. Some people like the red. It is just gorgeous. So again, I, I haven't been doing it because I'm, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be adding another sentiment, but you can add that into the bottom so it gives you a little bit more room to write and stamp or maybe you don't want to put anything here so you write down here so that you know you're not going to get any of your writing or stamping in the other part totally up to you but how are we coming are you ready you grab it all right you're doing i'm doing two, two. okay yeah all right here you go okay. that's what i drew kathy riley from florida i think it's kathy is that what it was? Is it Kathy? right? Let me, I thought it was Kathy Kelly. Oh, well, your oh. K looks like an R. Okay. <laughs> okay, Kathy Kelly. And see if he wrote down your name right. K-E-I-L-Y. Yeah, Kathy Kelly. She's okay. From... His K looks like an R. Sorry. I gotta All go right. back and look where she's from. Here. So, I don't know if you noticed it, but you see this? This is Stamp Camp. It's a mono glue holder. So when it's sitting on my desk, the, the pointed part that I always use is facing down so that when I grab it, the glue is always ready to roll. So Kathy, I actually make these myself. My son designed them and I make them. But this is yours. It, is, it shows blue, but it's actually purple. And it says the stamp camp i've mailed this out send me your address it, on the bottom it says glenda Calkins, the stamp camp.com so my email is glenda at the stamp camp.com <laughs> i had to think about that 
So email me your address and I will send this out to you tomorrow. So congrats on that. If you're not a subscriber, I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is the Stamp Camp. All right, so I think we're down to our last one with our strips. Yes, this is the very last one. Okay, so I didn't want you to have to sit through watching me color again. So I've already colored my sprig. Isn't that pretty? And then, now this one, what, what? Gold with that plaid from the Joyful Specialty on top. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to go back to the Noel in the gold as well. So like I said, I tried to step it up each one. And I think that they are gorgeous. So this last two that we're making are my favorites. I think they just turn out beautiful. They're all gorgeous. Like I said, if you want to see them close up tomorrow, my blog goes live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can check them out. If you are a Stamp Camp at Home Card Club member, you will receive the download project sheet that has all the measurements, all the supplies that I used, the One Sheet Wonder pattern that you can print, so there's lots of perks for being in my card club. Try to make it very much uh, something that you would very much enjoy. Okay, so we got our Noel on there. We're going to pop that. Yes, it's going to overlap this just a hair, which I'm fine with because when you pop it up, you're going to see the whole sprig anyway. So I'm going to fold that over. Take my tape, fold that down, come in with my liquid glue. One reason why I use liquid glue for this portion is because if I need to move it, like if I did too high or I put it in crooked, I have that ability to move it just for a few seconds there. I'm good to move it around so there's that we're going to come in with our gorgeous bow here on our sprig and then we're going to i got two gold left i'm going to have to grab another one but i won't i won't uh, make you sit and watch that you know how that goes. That one fell where it shouldn't be. So I generally will use three. So I'll place the, I'll get another one and put them in. But there's that. Here's this one. I just need to add my strip. And then we have these first 12 done with our two inch by five and a quarter inch joy of Christmas designer series paper. So there's those. Let me put that with that so I don't forget who got what. So there's the final two. I really love those. And then we did the two different colors with the sprig on here. I like that too. That's very elegant, I think. And then we got the Noel printed with our gold in the corner. And then our Peace on Earth and Noel with the gold. That gold just tops. And then we did the stamped, stamped, and then the die cuts, the first ones, okay? We still got those two strips left, so don't go anywhere. I got two more. I just wanted you to see all the different options. 
Look at I have a pile. That's what I love. Piles and piles. All right, so two strips. Now at the beginning, I said you take a five and a half by eight and a half and you cut it at six and a half. That leaves you with this little piece right here, which works perfectly for our strips. So I just need to cut it down because it's five and a half and I need it to be, oh, you know what? I cut my strip, to... should have cut my strips at five and a half. Oh, well, we'll cut this down to five and a quarter. It's going to be just a little bit different. That's all right. All right, so I'm going to bring in my, I'm going to do white card base, and it's the thick white. That's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Fold those in half. Okay, so now I have leftover red, and I have the the green but i'm going to use the red that i had someone had a tip that i'll read okay if you slip a piece of scrap paper in the corner of your envelope your color won't bleed to the envelope back oh yep it mine did pretty good so these are these the red strips were left over from when i cut the card base so it's a good way to use up those leftover strips and then I'm going to just put them on the front like so and there are some gorgeous dies in the classic Christmas classics bundle that we're going to use with these strips So even though I had just a little bit of the Joy of Christmas, the one and a half strips, you can make some gorgeous cards just with those dies. So this die is the Shaded Spruce, and then I just took the Noel in red. I mean, look at how easy that is. So just using strips of Designer Series paper and those intricate gorgeous dies. I'm going to pop that up. Let's see. I have dimensionals laying around here someplace. There they are. You can make some quick and gorgeous cards. Now this intricate die is a little bit because there is so much to it, so many layers. I use um, wax paper and put the wax paper down over top of the cardstock then put the die over and then run it through my cut and emboss machine and I run it through at least two times and that wax paper helps to get those little intricate pieces out so pretty Mary said the red stamp Noel with a gold flap would be striking the, say that again. The red stamp Noel. Right. With a gold flap. Gold flap. Would be straight. See, I told you, there's so many options that you, whoops, that you can do. So you could probably come up with, since we had 12 cards, you could probably come up with 12 different ones if you didn't want to do, you know, all the same. Okay, so that's with that stripe. Then I, I had to come in with this one as well. This is another die cut from the bunch. And we're going to put this on top. So this sentiment is from the Joy of Noel. And this die is from the Christmas Classic. So I used quite a bit of the sweet. It is the Christmas Classic sweet on these cards tonight. So I'm going to pop this up too. So 
well, let's see, I'm going to put that about like that, looks good. And then I'm thinking, I'm going to take the red and I'm going to put them on what supposedly are the berries on this die cut. But I think stunning cards, yes, quick and easy, just strips of paper on white, but I think they turned out gorgeous. Don't give, don't throw away those strips. There's always something that you can do with those leftover strips. So there you have your 14 one sheet wonder cards for tonight. I won't go through, I'll just pile them all up again. And we got one more drawing, and it's not going to be a glue holder, it's going to be something else that I make that is pretty handy that I have on my desk as well. So if you need any supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. Or if you click under the video, it'll say show more. I have the list of all the supplies that I use tonight. If you want to see the cards up close, make sure that you hit up my blog tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll have them out on there for you. And again, I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I was super excited to hit that 10,000 subscribers. If you are not a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe, like, share, click that bell in the upper right hand corner so you know when I go live. Now for the final drawing of the night, Bill. So please share, then you'll get even more subscribers, right? Is that yes, I I will. yes, I will. Yes, I will. the next name. Here is Marsha Long. From Texas. I had to look that town up. Mid, I don't know how to say that. Mid, mid, Let me see that. Let me see that. Methylon? Methylon? No, mid, mid low thing, I think. Mid -thing. I, I had to look it up because I never heard of it. It's south of Dallas a bit. All right. Congratulations, Marsha. Make sure that you send me an email with your address. So I can mail out. This is what you're getting. It is my little tool caddy. Now what you can put your scissors, anything like that. What I use my tool caddy is I have all the watercolor brushes or pencils and then the painters, the blender pens, and that just sits out on my desk. But you can easily put in the two pick tool. You can do your blends you want to store them flat. So I wouldn't put them in there because you want the ink to be across them all. But you can put in your scissors, you can put in your bone folder, you can put in whatever you like. Again, this is purple. And on the bottom, you won't forget where you got that from. <laughs> so congratulations. Thank you everybody who has been a subscriber. I appreciate that. Any other questions there, Bill? I can't see that. No, I think that was it. How many cards did you make? 14? I did 14 cards with one 12 by 12 Less sheet. than an hour. Less than an hour. That's yeah. almost enough to send to my whole family. Yeah. <laughs> Two more. We are four minutes short of an hour, so I think I did pretty well. Again, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next week here at 8 a.m. Thursday nights for One Sheet Wonder Night. Thanks so much for stopping by. What do you do with all your cards, someone asked. Oh, what do I do? I've been giving them away. So if you go to my blog and place an order with me, a minimum $60 order, and use the host code, you will receive 10 All Occasion cards plus a 6x6 pack of All Occasion Designer Series paper. Or you can you get 12 Christmas cards and a pack of All Occasion Designer Series paper. So hit my blog. If you hit on any of the blog posts and scroll all the way down to the bottom, it will say uh, November Customer Appreciation and it will give you all the details on that. Thanks so much for all your orders. I do appreciate them. That's what keeps me going here every Thursday night. So again, thanks for stopping by.